Now, Tertius in Unity is one of the main things that most game developers forget about. And it's one of the things that most games have. The games have different cursor art. Fortunately, it is pretty easy to implement cursors in Unity. So, let's get started. Just create assets you wish to use. Or you can go to the asset store by going to the window, asset store, and this will pop up a new browser window for us. And now let's search for cursors. As you guys can see, I recently searched that in our search menu. Now there are a lot of different cursors that are being sold in the Unity asset store. It's totally up to you if you wish to buy some of these or you could actually just go to the pricing and pressing free assets thus showing us the free assets that are being sold in the asset store as you guys can see we already purchased the pixel cursors so let's import that in our game you can do this easily by pressing open in unity and pressing open unity editor this will show us a package manager in the unity game itself if for some reason this doesn't show up for you you can easily go to window package manager and this will be shown right in front of us now as you can see we already saw the pixel cursor assets that we wish to use in our game if for some reason you can't really search it in this area here you can change the packages to my assets or you could press the refresh button and press refresh list this will add all of the different cursors from this package to our game so let's press import now as you can see we already have our as uh, our assets here let's close this window down and let's go to our pixel cursors folder now as you can see there are different types of cursors in the cursors folder or there is even a demo scene for us to use but you're just going to be using one of these pixel cursors in this list this bones for the one looks very very cool so let's change the texture type from sprite 2d and ui to cursor thus allowing us to use this type of asset as a cursor let's go to our edit project settings and let's change our default cursor to bonus 41. There we go. As you guys can see, we already have our cursor here. And if you actually hover in our game, it will look as it will show the cursor in our game. But if for some reason it doesn't show up in our current game display, you could just press play and then hopefully this will be refreshing our cursor in our game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this mini tutorial and if you guys have any more questions you could leave it down in the comments below. 